Google's I.O. Developer Conference is, once again, coming up. On May 10th, the company is set to unveil a whole bunch of stuff from hardware to new software for Android, perhaps, to also AI announcements, probably. Company CEO Sunar Pichai even teased some of these upcoming announcements in an earnings call recently, so we have a pretty good idea of what to expect. We can also look to previous IOs to see what usually gets announced then. With all the information we've amassed so far, here's what we expect the company will announce at Google I.O. This might actually be the year Google finally unveils a foldable phone. After years of supporting software on Android for folding screens or flexible displays, the company is rumored to be readying its very own Pixel Fold. According to some internal documents that CNBC reportedly saw, we have some ideas about the specs surrounding Google's first folding device. First of all, the format here is going to be more similar to Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold series, where it's basically a bigger device that folds in half into something more like a smartphone-sized gadget. On the outside, we're expecting, again, according to the leaks, a 5.8-inch display, and unfolded, it'll come up to about 7.6 inches. Also, according to the Reports both internal and external displays will run at 120 hertz for smoother animations and scrolling. The rumored Pixel Fold also supposedly has a more durable hinge as well as a battery that should get up to 24 hours of normal use. Leaks are also suggesting that the bezels here will be thicker than Samsung's device, but we really will have to wait to find out more. As with most of Google's Pixel products, photography is a key focus here. And yet, depending on the source of the rumors, we're hearing about varying levels of quality. CNBC seems to think that the cameras on the Pixel Fold might predate the Pixel 6, whereas sites like Front Page Tech and 91 Mobile think we could get a 48 or 64 megapixel primary shooter. Regardless, it looks like the Pixel Fold will be powered by the Tensor G2 chip, which is Google's own processor. As for availability, you might still have to wait a little while, even if you're super excited right now. The device is supposedly slated for a June release for about $17 or $1,800. Hey, if expensive phones with multiple screens aren't quite your thing, you might be pleasantly surprised to find out that on the slate of rumored products coming at Google I.O. is the Pixel 7a. Now, we know the A series of Pixel phones to be affordable, but offering great specs and cameras for the price, and the Pixel 7a looks to be no different. Like its predecessors, the Pixel 7a appears to be taking on the same design that debuted in the Pixel 7 series, just as the 6a looked a lot like the 6 series. But it seems like Google may have heard some of our complaints about the 6a and might be adding some features that the affordable phone series never had before. For one thing, wireless charging seems to be on the menu, as is a faster 90Hz refresh rate on the screen. It's also quite likely that the 7a will be powered by the same Tensor G2 processor that should be found in the Pixel Fold, and you may get 8 gigs of RAM. Rounding up Vietnamese website Zing News' a little bundle of rumors and leaks here is the fact that the Pixel 7a may have a 6-inch screen. As for when this will be available and for how much, we have retail sources at 9to5Google claiming that the device will be available for $499 in May. In fact, you might be able to pre-order it on the day of Google I.O. itself, which is May 10th. Last year at I.O., Google previewed the Pixel tablet, so we already know this is something that it is actively working on. This year, the company might actually be ready to release it. For real. We already saw this is a tablet that sits on a speaker dock that you can remove and take it with you when you need and then put it back on the speaker dock to charge and use as a smart display at home. What we're hearing this time around is the exact pricing and availability and specs like the same Tensor G2 chip might be powering this device as well. It's a Tensor G2 bonanza. According to sources that 925Google spoke with, this will be an 11-inch tablet that will retail for around 600 euros. And that price includes the speaker base. We'll probably have to wait until Google officially launches this device to learn more about what it can do, but so far we've already learned a lot about the Pixel tablet and what to expect here. On to the software, which is probably what the bulk of Google I.O. is going to be. It is, after all, a developer conference. So what are we going to expect? 
Android 14 is very high up on the menu here. We're expecting to see the next version of Google's mobile OS. We've already started to see the developer betas come out, uh, but typically those don't show us what are some of the more interesting coming features. And just like in years past, it doesn't seem like May is the time when Google will be making these huge software announcements. In fact, with Android, the company has taken to releasing feature drops periodically throughout the year. So don't expect a huge generational jump this time around. We're hearing things like a potential Health Connect, uh, which is a hub for data that comes from your fitness apps, as well as a previously optional predictive back gesture may come standard now. In fact, I think it is more likely that Google is saving some of these upcoming software features for a Pixel launch later in the year, say in October. But that's not to say the company won't first preview the Pixel 8 at I.O. It's done that before it previewed the Pixel 7 last year at Google I.O. Sites like WinFuture claim that it will probably use the Tensor G3, which isn't that much of a stretch of the imagination. Uh, and we could see the camera stay largely the same, except for potentially the unblur feature that it's used on photos might be coming to video for the first time. There haven't been that many leaks about the rest of Google's software products, nor any real updates on the things we've seen at IO's past. The one thing we're thinking might happen is we might actually see Google's Project Starline uh, holographic video calling tool or product revive at this I.O. Could we also see an update or some more information about those AR translation glasses that Google teased last I.O.? Anything is possible. But given it is AI season, I think the bulk of the stuff that Google wants to surprise us with is going to be all about artificial intelligence. The company obviously is one of the market leaders when it comes to AI. And we've seen BART appear in more and more products, more and more devices. It's more than likely we'll learn about updates coming to the company's products like Search, Maps, Suite, Workspace, Chrome, or the chatbot itself might be ready for public testing or it might get integrated into Search. Really, it is a wild, wild world in the land of AI. So Google being one of the early movers in that space could have a lot to show us at I.O. We'll be live blogging Google I.O. from the ground. So make sure you come to Engadget.com on May 10th and stick with us. We'll contextualize everything and give you the news as it happens. Until next time, Team Pixel.